Welcome to Medicare School Daily, where we help you understand Medicare, save money, avoid mistakes, and above all else, get the most out of your Medicare benefits. Today's topic is recognizing bad Medicare advisors and the five red flags to watch out for. When you decide to start taking your Medicare benefits, it is highly unlikely that you're going to go about that whole process all alone. You no doubt are going to have an advisor that's going to assist you. And what I want you to see today, folks, is this. All advisors are not the same. There are some that are very good and there are some that are terrible. And so we want to make sure that you understand there's some red flags that you can watch for because who you use as an advisor is going to determine what your coverage you're going to look like and what your experience is going to be on Medicare. So the advisors are a very, very important part of uh, this decision that you're going to make as you go on Medicare. So red flag number one is this. When you see online the opportunity to get a quote and you're going to have to fill out certain information to request that quote, just remember, when you give out your information, what's happening is this is made available by a lead generation company. And so they gather information of yours and they're going to sell that to agents. In fact, they're probably going to sell your information anywhere from about 20 to 40 different agents around the country. And each of those agents are going to pay about $50 for your information. It's a lead to them. And so you're going to get calls from all over the country. Uh, all those agents are going to call you at least once a day, sometimes and multiple times every day because they have one goal in mind, and that is they want to sell you a plan. And so you simply were looking for information on pricing and different details, but agents were looking for a lead. And so this company has sold your information to them, and now you're going to be pestered until you buy a plan. And so we would caution you, do not fill out, get a quote, because you are now going to become a lead that's going to be available to multiple agents. Now, the second red flag that we want to warn you about is this, being sure that you understand that there are agents out there that are captive. And many call centers today, uh, they are owned by large insurance companies so that whenever you call in to that call center, what you're doing is you're talking to captive agents. That means that captive agent is working for one particular company. That means uh, they only have a few plans they're going to offer you. Now, you may be in a market where there's 25 or 30 different plans. But if you're working with a captive agent, then you're only going to look at maybe two or three different plan options. And so you're limiting your options. And so the question is, why do people call into a captive agency? Because they feel like that they're going to be able to get a better price if they will go direct with the insurance carrier. And folks, that's not true. Whenever you buy an insurance plan in Medicare, it doesn't matter who you buy that from, the price is always the same to you. So you cannot save money by going directly to the insurance company. In fact, I believe you cost yourself because now not only do you have limited options, meaning you're not seeing everything that's in that market, but you're also dealing with people that are typically newbies in the call centers. They have not been in this business very long. So the knowledge that they have is also going to be limited. So I don't think you're going to be served best by calling into a call center whose agents are captive. You want to be able to deal with someone who is going to give you all the options that has much more knowledge than what you're going to see in the average call center agent. Red flag number three in regards to Medicare advisors that you want to avoid are those that actually will show up and knock on your door or those that work out of the trunk of their car. In fact, this may surprise you, but you will have people when you uh, become Medicare eligible that are actually going to show up and they're going to knock on your door. And um, they are there to do one thing, and that is to sell you a plan. And the reason they're knocking on your door is because the company they work for makes them. And they make them knock on the door because they know there are some people that uh, uh, will make an immediate, very impulsive decision. And so they're kind of preying on those type of people. Now, uh, these door knockers are typically very friendly people. They have a super personalities, but they're also super pushy. And that's why it's a red flag to us. And there's also those that uh, will not necessarily show up to your house uninvited. They will uh, be invited by you to come into your home and uh, they will sit at the kitchen table and they will begin to uh, show you plans there in the, uh, you know, in your home. But the problem with that is this, you always have to ask yourself, why would somebody be in the insurance business working out of the trunk of their car? Why do they do that? Almost always it's because they're newbies. Folks, I wouldn't think about going to someone's home. In fact, if I were you as a consumer, I wouldn't want a stranger coming into my home, uh, not in today's culture for sure. But they come to the home because typically they have no office to work out of, and uh, they're going to come to the home, and uh, they're, they're fairly new. you got to remember, when insurance business takes about uh, maybe a two-day class, and you, you take a test, as long as you pass it, all of a sudden you're in the insurance business and you're an expert. And so that's why many of them are willing to do work just like that. And so the point is this, whether it's a door knocker or someone that's working out of the trunk of their car, they have one thing in common, and that is this, they are very pushy. Their goal is to sell you a plan on the spot to get you to make some type of decision before they leave your home uh, because they're, they're there for one reason, that is to make a sale. All right. Now, one other thing about the door knockers and the trunk workers is this. 
That first visit to the home will probably be the only time you'll ever see them or ever hear from them again. Because about 1% to 3% of all people that are in the Medicare business will not be in the Medicare business within two to three years. They'll be gone. And so you'll probably never hear from those uh, that uh, are going to approach Medicare advising in this particular fashion. So that's why we're saying it ought to be a red flag to you and avoid those kind of advisors. And that brings us then to red flag number four. And that is a group of advisors today that are actually charging for what they say to be un unbiased Medicare advice. Now, frankly, this is one of the newer gimmicks uh, in the Medicare field today, and that is people who will go to you and say, you know, we are not biased in any way because we don't make any commissions from the insurance company. And so what they do is they actually charge you a fee uh, for uh, their opinion about what plan would be best for you. Now, what I want you to realize is this. Uh, almost everybody in the Medicare field today is unbiased. The only people that are biased anyways are those agents that work for one company. If an agent works for United Healthcare, I'll guarantee you they're going to be biased to United Healthcare. If they work for Humana, they're biased to them. If they work for Aetna, they're going to be biased to Aetna. Those are the only people who are biased anyways. So there's a lot of unbiased information out there. Anytime you work with a broker, they're unbiased because they don't work for any one company. They work for you, the person that's going to buy the plan. So they're job is to get you the very best plan, and they are very unbiased as well. So these advisors are saying, we're going to charge you for the unbiased advice. What they're going to do, they're going to send you a bill anywhere from probably $700 to $1,000 for them to tell you what plan is going to be in your best interest. And, and they are definitely unbiased. But if you would use a broker, that broker is also unbiased. Why? Uh, because uh, they're looking for the best plan for you. And so what happens, you have to pay this advisor $700 to $1,000 for unbiased advice. If you use a broker, uh, there is zero cost to you. Why? Because the insurance company is going to pay uh, that broker. And insurance companies pay comparable rates. So an unbiased uh, broker will give you all that advice for free. So you have to decide, do you want to pay for unbiased advice or would you rather the insurance company pay the agent? And then you can have all that unbiased information totally free to you. So again, that's a red flag when someone wants to charge you for unbiased advice. And then finally, we come to red flag number five, and that is this. There are some advisors that are all about getting the sale, and others that are going to make sure that you are going to have a relationship uh, that will be available to you for really the rest of your life. Okay, so let me show you how you recognize the difference. Someone who is all about the sale is not going to get into a lot of fine details. Uh, they're not going to give you a lot of uh, different plan options. Uh, their whole focus is to typically push one type of a product and uh, get on down the road. And so their whole goal is to sell something and do so very quickly so they can go on to the next person. Right Now, someone who is really concerned about you having a relationship because you really do need one, this is a person that is going to understand, first of all, your situation. They're going to want to know more about uh, your situation as far as health concerns, health issues, maybe pre-existing conditions. They're going to be concerned about what exact medications you're taking, where would you want your prescriptions to be filled. So they're going to get into more of the details. They're not looking just for a quick decision. They want to make sure the decision you make is the right one. So here it's all about the decision. Here it's all about making the right decision. And so what you want to be sure as you look at these people, you have to understand their goal. In fact, we uh, throughout the country, there are companies who actually will bus in agents into certain markets. And they're very personable, very pushy, and their whole goal is to get the sale. And uh, that's all they're concerned about. In fact, they're one and done, and you'll never, ever see them again. Uh, but these folks right here are, are in the business to stay, and they're going to make sure that you have made the right decision. There's no pushiness whatsoever. In fact, by the way, when it comes to pushy people, I always have to ask myself, are they looking out for their interest or my interest? So when they're pushy, I believe they're looking out for theirs and not for mine. And so you want to do everything you can. That's why we're saying this is a red flag to avoid those that are all about the decision, all about the quick sale, and rather have a relationship with someone that you can enjoy working with for the rest of your life. To learn more, watch the related video or check out our most recent video. Also, be sure you click to subscribe for free and get notified every time we post a new video. To watch our complete Medicare workshop, go to medicareschool.com. And finally, when you're ready to compare all your insurance options and get free enrollment help from one of our Medicare school guides, call the number on the screen. See you next time.